Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome back to my Screeps Newbie Guide. Today we're gonna talk about two different things because since the last video we have actually two problems which we have to address as quickly as possible. So at the end of last video we have set up a lot of structures or construction sites for structures, mainly roads and extensions, and I kept the script running for a night and when I came back all those buildings got completed. However, a lot of the roads already got destroyed again because they decayed and um, all the extensions were not, were not getting used. So that's the two things we're gonna fix today. We're gonna set up a few repairer creeps which uh, repair our structures and we're going to tell our harvesters to also fill up the extensions and not only the spawn. So let's, gonna, let's uh, start with the repairers and you know the drill at this point. We create a new module, we call it role repairer, we press enter and we save. And uh, actually before we do that um, let's fix one thing or mention one thing I didn't uh, I forgot to include in the last video I mentioned it via an annotation and stuff but I forgot to put the code for the builder in the main creeps loop so if you didn't uh, doesn't if you didn't do that um, last time since last time then uh, your builders will not do anything and just sit around so that was my bad sorry for for that I forget it so you just copy it in there and obviously you need the variable up here you have to require the script okay now let's talk about the repairer shall we so Oops, what happened? There we go. <laughs> we copy the code from the builder script, um, we open the repairer script and paste it in there. Now we're gonna change the work part again. So instead of looking for construction sites, we're actually gonna look for um, for uh, different things. Um, let's actually delete all of this, why not? Okay, so instead of looking for a construction site, we're gonna look for structures that has to be repaired. Let's just call the variable structures. And we're gonna use the closest by path function again, but a little different this time. So creep, pause, uh, closest, find closest by path. And the find closest by path looks for, has two different arguments. If we take a look at the documentation, the first argument is the, the thing we want to look for. So the type, like um, let's say find structures, for example. And the second part, which is optional, is a filter uh, or is an object that contains a filter and um, yeah and potentially an algorithm we don't need that though we need to filter the filter is interesting part for us the filter allows us to uh, further specify what we're looking for so we're gonna put an object here because that's the second argument it's an object we define the object by having brackets well, how are those brackets called in English? I actually don't know. Swingy brackets, probably not. Curvy brackets, I don't know. Something along those lines. Those weird brackets. So that's a that's an object now. Actually, let's not do it this way. Let's form it a little different. Let's do it this way. That's better. And um, in there, we're gonna define a property called filter because that's what the documentation told us to do. So as you uh, take, if you take a look here, the second argument is a object which contains a property filter and optionally a property algorithm. Well, filter is optional as well, but we're only gonna use the filter. So we're gonna put a uh, filter there and um, there are multiple options. Let's open it again um, for the filter. This can be an object, so we can just say it has to be of that kind. It can be a string. I'm not sure what it actually checks if we put a string there. And most importantly, it can be a function. That's what we're gonna do. And the simplest way of getting a function is here is using the arrow operator. We did that before. I forgot in which script we did that, but we used it for the low dash function. Uh, I think in the main for counting things. Yeah, we use the arrow operator over here. So um, we're gonna use the arrow operator again, which is again, just a very simple way of defining a, uh, a function. So first we define the parameters the function takes, which is actually um, an, a structure or any variable. It takes one parameter. It takes the uh, whatever the, this, uh, this function can find. Um, and uh, then we put the arrow here and then we define what we gonna want to do with that object or whatever the parameter is in that case in this case a structure so we are gonna check we have to well this function has to return a boolean uh, which defines if this is a thing we were looking for or not so true it has to be true when we're looking for it so what we're gonna check is two things first we want to check if the hits which are the hit points of the building are lower than the maximum hit points of this building so that's the first thing we want to check for and we want to check for something else though. We want to check for this not being a wall. I'm, exp I'm going to explain why later, but we don't want to repair ro uh, walls with our repairers because that might get us into trouble. So let's uh, say as a structure type is not equals structure wall. There we go. And that's our function. There we go. So 
That's the filter. So as so I'm going to try to explain this a little bit more in detail. Basically, what this function does, it looks for all structures and for every structure um, it uses this function, this filter function, to define if we are looking for the structure or not. So it um, calls this function with the, with the structure, like for every structure, S, it takes this function and calls it with the parameter, with the structure as the parameter. And if it returns true, it's going to be a possible target for this function. And if not, it's not going to take it into consideration by looking for the closest, um, by the, for the closest structure. So that's how this works. And um, now we're going to get a structure, hopefully. Maybe not. Um, if not, then there's nothing to repair, which is okay as well, actually. So we're going to check if uh, structure, no structures, actually. It's only one. Uh, structure is, um, is defined, or is not undefined. So we found something. And in that case, we're going to try to repair it. And we do that, as always, if creep dot repair which is the function used for repairing the structure is uh, error not in range then we're gonna move towards it creep move to structure there we go and if that's not the case if we couldn't find one we're gonna do something else do we I think we want to build in that case so let's switch this up instead of um, having the uh, upgrader as a fallback role for the repair are we gonna use the builder so we're gonna change this around we call this variable builder man sorry um, and we call the builder script and now we're gonna use role builder dot run creep so if we don't if if the repairer can't find a building to repair he's gonna go to the builder um, uh, builder role and if you remember correctly um, if he can't find something to build either because there are no construction sites either then he's gonna go and use the upgrader role so if we take a look over here in the role builder he's actually gonna go for the upgrader if he can't some fi find something to repair uh, to build so repairers actually can be three different things they can be a repairer a builder or an upgrader Okay, cool. Now we have a repairer. Now we have to tell the game to A, don't forget it this time, actually make the repairers move. So else if creep memory role is repairer, in that case, call, uh, we have to include it. Var role repairer, require role repairer. Oops. There we go. And we're going to call role repairer dot run on the creep oops <laughs> there we go okay that's better um, and now we have to spawn a few of them so we're gonna copy those lines as well var minimum oops minimum number of repairers uh, let's say two two sounds reasonable and number of repairers is uh, we're going to use the load sum function again uh, we're looking for repairers and since this might like ju uh, let's just let's just explain this again the sum function works similar to the close defined by path function it doesn't take a, an object with a filter in here because it's just a different syntax it just takes a function as a filter um, directly because it doesn't have any other options um, like the, the close, uh, find closest by path function, but it will do this, the same thing with this filter function. So the filter function will work exactly the same. It gonna, it's going to take all creeps in the game creeps very, um, object and use those creeps as a parameter for the filter function. If the filter function returns true, it's going to add it to the sum, and um, if not, then it's not going to add it to the sum. So it all counts all the creeps with the role repairer. It's, it works exactly, exactly the same. So, okay. Now let's put it down here somewhere. I uh, try to spawn a builder. That's the fallback mechanism. Um, I think I think repairers are more important than builders. So let's put them f in here first. Uh, number of repairers is smaller than minimum number of repairers. Try to spawn. Let's copy the code actually. Eh, let's try to spawn a repairer. Uh, what do we want to give the repairer um, body wise he's going to move about roads most of the time so let's give it the same as the builder actually there we go okay cool um, 
so that works or should work hopefully and um, yeah my creeps should start repairing things now as you can see if you take a look at the roads um, they have they take damage over time uh, interestingly enough if you put more roads close to each other they actually have more hit points like if you take a look at this one this has 5,000 hit points max it's down to 300 and we think they take damage over time and every time a creep moves across them and if you build more roads next to each other they actually have more hit points like this one has 25,000 which is significantly more like five times more than a single road so um, yeah I'm not actually sure what the rules are for this but um, yeah this one has 5,000 again um, and this one as well I'm not quite sure what the rules are like this one in the center should have more right but it doesn't I, I don't know if someone knows please feel free to comment below because I would actually know would like to know what this depends on the, the max hit points of road but yeah it is as it is um so now my creeps hopefully repair the roads and they will not all get destroyed they're probably gonna have to rebuild a few as well and um if uh, you can see the wall, wall uh, the ramparts are not there um anymore either so because they actually decay as well and they start with one hit point so it's pretty important that you instantly repair them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set them up again as soon as all my other buildings are done and repaired and stuff like that so i have resources or i have um, capacity to actually repair the wall parts before bef uh, the ramparts before they they decay so okay let's talk about the extensions really quick that's actually pretty easy but what, what we want to do is we're going to go to the harvester roll and instead of uh, telling them to transfer the energy to the spawn we're actually going to look for the closest building that can take energy so we're going to do that similar as to before um, we're going to do var um, uh, structure and we're going to use the creep pos find closest find closest by path function again and this time we're going to look for my structures and not for structures um, my structures is just like some some of the structures don't have an owner um, that be that being walls and roads and stuff like that so if you look for my structures you will only find buildings or structures that you have built and that are like you're the owner of and that's not true for roads which is why we didn't have this we, we didn't use this for the repairer that's also true for containers if I remember correctly um, so yeah and a few other buildings probably as well and now we're gonna use a filter again and uh, this time we're not looking for hit points we're looking for energy capacity so energy is smaller than as dot energy capacity there we go and that should do the trick uh hopefully um let's actually can we let's actually check if i'm doing this correctly let's do game dot um spawns spawn one and uh, let's see what the properties are yeah it has an energy and an energy capacity property so those are the correct ones um you can get confused by this really easily like because if you take a look like some some buildings and and things like the carry part of the creep of the creep can only take energy or uh, like some of them can only take energy and others can take multiple resources and those with the multiple resources have different properties than the ones uh, with the which only can take energy because the carry part for example has a carry property which then has an energy property and it doesn't have an energy capacity it just has a carry capacity for example while the the extensions and the spawn only have energy and energy capacity because they don't take other resources okay so this should give us the closest structure which is not at maximum so um what we're gonna do then is we're gonna take a look if that's actually can it happen that this is not true well this is that we can't find one well potentially so let's make sure it is and if it isn't then we probably use the upgrade as fallback this should never happen actually but um structure is undefined or it should hopefully never happen but let's check for it anyway so let's improve the harvester a little bit well, we could now let's just say he doesn't do anything and he just waits for the to, for a building become available um so we're gonna transfer instead to the spawn we're gonna transfer to the structure and the same goes for the move to command so that hopefully works already because we have a bunch of harvesters sitting around and uh, hopefully filling up extensions now let's see if we can spot one that does those are builders uh, this one might no it's a builder as well where are my harvesters 
Uh, by the way, it's interesting to note um, that my energy sources are very, very different because this one has actually five spots where you can access it from. This one, this, two, three, four, five. And this one only has two, one, two, which makes, uh, which means that this one can deplete way quicker than this one. And I'm not sure if I explained that already, but energy sources have 3000 energy and they regenerate to full every 300 seconds, uh, takes not seconds. So if you use more than, th or if you harvest more than 3000 energy per 300 ticks, so more than 10 um, energy per tick, then the the source will deplete and will be empty until it the time is over, which is actually happening with this energy source. And then your creeps cannot access it. And then if you set it up correctly, they're gonna try to access the other one, which is in my case most of the time blocked. Well, it's important that we get bigger creeps. This is why we got the extension. There we go. There's energy in extension. Very good, um, because this will allow us to build bigger creeps, which means we will have less creeps, which means they will block. Uh, will uh, will not get blocked as easily and stuff like that. So that's gonna be good. But that's what we're gonna do in the next video. So let's wrap it up here. Let's sum it up again. So we set it up. We set up a few repairs, which will hopefully repair our, our roads so they don't get decay as quickly anymore. And um, I will probably put down a few more buildings um, between this and the next video. And we explained our uh, harvesters that they can use extensions as well. And they're gonna do that. And in the next video, we're gonna actually make use of those extensions and spawn bigger creeps, which will be very very useful so thanks all for watching i hope you liked the video if you did so press feel free to press the like button if you disliked it press the dislike button thanks all for watching i said that already god damn it have fun and see you next time bye